great believer in uh, if you want to achieve something and you put your mind to it, anything is achievable. Joining the military has always appealed to me. It's something I've always wanted to do. So after spending eight or nine years in the construction industry, one morning I got up and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do it. My parachute regiment, our V Elite Regiment of the British Army, and I thought, if I'm going to do this, you know, I want to be part of the best regiment. I want to set myself a real challenge. I trained with French Foreign Legion. I trained with amphibious troops. I trained in the mountains. You know, we done parachute jumps from a, a thousand foot in the middle of the night. You know, I've done a lot of training around the world. I'm really enjoying it. I met my um, fiance Becky, um, and we started making plans to, you know, have a family. We got engaged. We got a house, and that's when I started thinking, do you know what? Maybe I should close this chapter start looking for a bit more stability in life. I didn't want to be that guy that would constantly be away from my family. Um, I wanted to have a, 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 stable, a stable platform and I thought the best thing I could do is get back in the industry I left and I loved, which was construction. I applied for a job, however, the company I applied for a week before I was meant to join them. Um, we were going for a, a bit of a transition, if you like. It was all up in there, things were not looking great the week before I was ready to leave Army. Build Force said they could get my week's work experience from Morgan Sindel. From week one, day one, it was organised, it was structured, I started learning a lot, um, I started getting a real passion and buzz for construction, and after two days, I thought to myself, this is generally a company I want to work for, and um, it kind of blew my way, if I'm honest. So we sat down, we had a chat, and I said, look, I've loved this week, I would like, like to do a bit more. So he said, what we'll do is we'll give you a three month contract, It'll be a chance for me to um, look more at Morgan Sindel. Morgan Sindel will have a look at me and we'll just take it from there. If I'm honest, at first I was a bit anxious because I'd just started a three month contract, you know, I had um, a lot one in the way as such, but the company went above and beyond. They were supportive, you know, I had maternity leave, little things like the team getting round, you know, putting a card through the door, a bunch of flowers, little things for the pay it was, you know, it's just little things, you know, that just shows the type of people you work for. It's, um, it's nice. When the three month trial started, you know, from, from then I started feeling valued, I started feeling part of the team and it didn't take long to realise that this is a great company, it's a company I want to keep working with. It was the week before Christmas, I sat down, he said, look, I've, I've heard good things about you, how have you found it, where do you want to go, what do you want to achieve, what's your five year plan, what's your ten year plan, you know, I was given a, a full term contract. What I like about Morgan Sindel is I've joined as, a, as an assistant set manager. However, you know, my next step up is a set manager, you know, and, and they'll progress me to that stage. And you, you don't need to set the bar. If you keep showing an interest, you keep doing the right things, who knows, you can go all the way. Um, and when asked the question, what can you do for me? What training are you going to give me? I mean, the answer was, you know, as much as you want. It says to me that the bar is as high as you want to push it. You know, I've got everything I need to, to excel.